Winter can be dangerous, but new technology is making things safer. And even car tires are getting upgrades that will make driving on icy roads safer than ever. And some tech might even get rid of icy roads altogether. 70% of Americans live in snowy areas, and it can be rough. But tech is starting to enable a true winter wonderland. Driving on snow, ice, and sleet is very tricky, and every winter it causes major problems. People don't have the right tires for winter conditions. That usually happens because drivers simply can't tell which tires are best for the job. A new international testing standard is aiming to make it much easier. Many drivers assume that the so-called all-season tires work for winter conditions, but they are not designed to match the safety provided by a true winter tire. We've had winter tires since the mid-90s. You can easily spot them by this symbol printed on their sides. But these are tires rated for travel on snow, not ice. There hasn't been a standardized rating system specifically for driving on icy surfaces until now. In November 2023, after years of research and trial and error, the International Organization for Standards and a tire manufacturer called Nokian released a new testing standard for tires designed for safer driving in icy conditions. The end result is a rigorous test that proves whether tires can provide good safety on icy roads. The test requires candidate tires to provide at least an 18% improvement over a standard regular tire. 18% might not sound like much, but in icy mountainous conditions, it can mean the difference between a controlled stop and falling off a cliff. Nokian is the first company to sell tires that meet the standard, but hopefully they won't be the last. Still, as good as these new tires may be, there's an even better way to get traction in deep snow and very icy conditions. They're called tire chains or snow chains, depending upon where you're from, and they're a winter driving solution that's been around since 1904. But anybody who has ever had to put them on a car can tell you that they're a huge pain in the butt to use. However, a new patent from two car companies might bring that old snow chain into the 21st century. The old snow chains kind of suck. First, they're hard to install. It's also hard to reach under a car's fender to fasten the chains. And even once you go through the hassle of getting the tire chains on, you have to remove them again pretty soon because even though snow chains are great in rural or mountainous areas, in urban areas where roads are plowed and salted, chains are overkill. But technology might soon solve all these problems. Hyundai Motor Company and Kia Motors are developing a new tire that has snow chains built in. It sounds crazy, but they're apparently very serious about it. They call it snow chain integrated tire technology, and it could completely change winter driving. The name is a bit misleading though, because it's not just about the tires. Really, the tech is in the entire wheel. The system uses what are called shape memory alloys, metals that can change shape when electric charge is applied and then return to their original shape when the charge is off. In this design, the metals protrude from inside the wheel and emerge from special slots in the tire. The end result is a series of metal loops that act as a snow chain and can appear or disappear at the touch of a button. The patent pending technology is designed for repeated use, taking advantage of the shape memory alloy's ability to return to its original shape all by itself. This innovation will save time and increase safety since drivers wouldn't have to stop on the side of a road to put on snow chains. And this would absolutely help in cases of sudden, heavy snowfall. Hyundai and Kia haven't quite committed to mass producing the system yet. They're still doing durability and performance tests and regulation reviews. But if all goes well, this system could be sold on new cars in the very near future. But let's be real here. The holy grail of dealing with snow is to be able to just get rid of it completely. One city in America has actually come close to pulling that off. Holland, Michigan, a quiet little city on the western edge of the Wolverine State, has decided to tackle the age-old problem of snow and ice-covered roads in a way that makes you wonder why the rest of us are still scraping snow off the ground like it's the Dark Ages. The city of Holland has implemented a system that involves embedding heating elements directly under many roadways and sidewalks. The heating elements are tubes that carry hot wastewater from the city's power plant. The 190 miles of tubing cover almost a total of 5 miles of heated sidewalks and streets. 
All this makes Holland set up the largest snow melt system in all of North America. Picture this. A snowstorm hits. Instead of dispatching an army of snowplows to wage war against the snow, Holland's heated roads simply warm up and say, Not today, snowflakes. The embedded electric elements generate enough heat to melt one inch of snow per hour at 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like having a radiant floor heating system for the city. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't this expensive? And yes, it is. In fact, the main reason more cities don't have this tech is the high cost. Holland is an exception because their city has largely been built around this system since 1988. The city also generates its own electricity through a local plant, which not every small city can do. But if we're going to talk about cost, consider that our traditional snow removal systems aren't exactly cheap either. The U.S. as a whole spends over $2 billion a year on snow removal. Heated roads and sidewalks, however, provide a greener solution and have a lot of hidden benefits like increasing accessibility to city services and venues for those who have mobility issues and have difficulty getting around in ice and snow. The system also makes roads much safer. In short, spending money on the front end pays off on the back end, and it helps people enjoy more of the place where they live all year round. But it's a hard sell to convince most cities to invest millions and decades into urban snow melting systems. That's why the most likely first revolution in snow removal will probably be led by robots. In Norway, one of the snowiest places on Earth, airports are using autonomous, self-driving snowplows to clear runways, which are really just a special type of road. One unique advantage of these autonomous snowplows is that they can clear snow in formation, with several vehicles working together with precision that can withstand even the fiercest storm. There are also autonomous snowplows in Canada. Transport Canada, a department in Canada's government, is testing the world's first electric, semi-autonomous sidewalk snowplow. The robot snowplows are manufactured by Swap Robotics, and they use computer vision and multiple cameras to navigate obstacles and do their job. They're also designed to stop within 10 feet of any pedestrian, animal, or vehicle and they offer up to 18 hours of continuous operation on a single charge. Towns, cities, and companies with large campuses can use the bots to quickly clear sidewalks, driveways, and parking lots. And if you want your own personal snow-removing robot, there are options for that too. One of the more popular ones is the Yarbo Snowblower S1 robot. This versatile little gadget is like the Swiss Army knife of winter robots. It's wireless, controllable from a smartphone, it can roll over obstacles, and it can even handle wet, dry, or packed snow. Buy one of these and you can let it move snow from your yard, driveway, or sidewalk while you watch it do your bidding from the warm comfort of your home. Although winter can be beautiful, snow and ice are relentless challenges that cost us time, money, and even human lives. But technology is finally starting to make winter living easier and safer. And that's something to be hopeful about. 